Samantha Boland tells me she has blocked out much of what happened to her as she stood just below me here along McKnight Road. Investigators say they now know that the man who fired on a postal worker in Pittsburgh also opened fire on cars here as well as Bolin and her friend. He had popped out of his car and I seen him raise up and start shooting. Samantha Bolin tells me she saw the shooter positioned just above her and heard popping sounds, but it wasn't until the friend she was talking to started running to his car that she realized they were under fire. So she ran too with the bullet still coming. My back windshield was out like it, I could hear it crack. Bolin's car and several others driving along McKnight were hit and Bolin's friend was shot but is recovering. We're amazed that we don't have a bunch of dead bodies. Um, the fact that he was there and just shooting at people, uh, not all people that were moving, you know, two of the people were standing there. Um, and so the fact that, that nobody was killed is a miracle. Ross Township Deputy Police Chief Brian Kolhep says they now have proof that Martin L. Humphreys, the man charged with firing at a mail carrier in the city of Pittsburgh, then drove here, took this vantage point above McKnight Road and started shooting. By 214, 13 minutes after the first shots were fired at the mail carrier, police say Humphreys was back in the city along Oakdale, where a resident captured these images of him before he was taken into custody and charged with shooting at a postal worker. Police say video and shell casings now connect him to the Ross shootings that same day. I have PTSD, thank you. <laughs> um, I have nightmares. I don't even like to go outside anymore. I'm like scared. Martinell Humphreys faces charges both from Ross Township and the city of Pittsburgh. He's charged with attempted homicide, recklessly endangering another person, and aggravated assault. He's expected in court on January 19th. In Ross Township, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.